Uh, yeah, another day in the steed. About an hour's drive, and then we're off to uh, something fussing. Fossil flossing. <laughs> So we made it to the bottom. Felt like we were abseiling some of that. Uh, we did watch a couple go down it as if it was nothing. Uh, maybe it's a confidence thing. A little mountain goats. Yeah, maybe it's a confidence thing with us and our boots. We're not sure yet, but uh, obviously I have a bad knee. Um, but it was, it was pretty vertical. Um, so much so that they have sort of chains for you to help you get up there. Uh, but we have just seen a family with two kids go up there, so it can't be that hard. We probably made it harder than it was, but it was excellent, beautiful, beautiful waterfall, as you'd expect. Tell me about the waterfall. <laughs> how many? How tall is it? Very tall. Where uh, does the Where's the river come from? The river comes from a big valley that feeds all of the mountains around this area, um, and it was just a very. We know nothing about the waterfall. Fact. We have this habit of talking to everybody who we see and luckily we bumped into a couple on the waterfall walk who recommended this gorgeous little spot it's a campsite just on the side of the road and it's absolutely breathtaking so we're planning on stopping here for a little bit to get the drone up um, but it's basically a little bridge walk around the whole of the it's broken so there's not many places open in uh, Norway on Sundays, so we've just stopped off at a garage for lunch. So we've got a hot dog, it's called the Big Bacon. Uh, and we have no idea what sauce we put on, but we are starving. So hopefully this will make us new people to go up Dalstuten, <laughs> our next walk. And uh, that's gonna overlook Stavanger and the North Sea. That's next. Well team, second hike of the day, we're off to Dals Newton, or we're going to go up and see Stavanger from the other side of, uh, of the bay, it's up there. You will buy our hot dogs. Yeah, we've got our hot dogs now, so we're full of energy, yeah. ready to go, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the view when we get up there. recommended the Dal Suton walk by a couple on the walk to the waterfalls. It wasn't on our agenda but so glad it was because it was absolutely beautiful. You had the cliffs and the fells on one side and the city on the other side and it was lovely and it's gone really crisp and autumnal. The colours are gorgeous and now we are off to see the swords in the rock. The Three Stones in the Rock. Very, very original name. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Three Stones in the Rock? Yeah, Three Stones in the a Rock. Sword. Three Stones. Oh, three swords in the rock. That's what I've been looking forward to all day. So I can't wait to get there and see what they're all about. Swords. 30 feet high overlooking this most beautiful bay uh sun's just setting on our what probably will be last uh sort of event in norway while we're here say a fact um so these swords are here because this was apparently the most significant location the vikings would leave 